Hello everyone. Just have a, a couple of hauls here to share with you. I thought I would put them all into the one. Um, the, we went to a different town for a drive yesterday and um, of course you can't go to a new town and not try out their, their op shops, thrift stores. So this is what I managed to find. Um, as some of my followers know, I love the royal family, well most of them. Um, and I happened to pick up a couple more books for my collection. Um, this is a souvenir guide for Buckingham Palace. Not that I'll ever get there, but it's nice to look at and um, has some lovely pictures in it. So yeah, I was very happy to find that it was only like about 50 cents or something. I also got, um, this is just a supplement out of the paper that I didn't collect at the time. Um, it's William and Kate's wedding. Um, lots of lovely pictures in that too. I just think these two are great. Um, so I'll, I'll have a look through that. Have a bit of a read and put it with my collection. Oh, she's beautiful. Uh, I also got another, believe it or not, little golden book that I didn't have. Um, it's got a little tear on the cover there now because that's where I peeled the sticker off and it would left that mark. So I think this may be a little old one. Let's see. 53. Oh wow, it's another one as old as me. It's in a lot better condition than I am, but yeah, 1953. So I have I have received the odd one or two since my last haul video, but um, they're all packed away in the in the collection now. I have mine all alphabetized. Um, so that's one I can put in there now. This one I thought was, um, you know, like a Peter Rabbit type book. Um, and then when I was peeling the sticker off, I realised it's the actual biography of Beatrix Potter. Now, I do have the the DVD, the movie that with um, Renee Zell, Zellweger. Uh, I watch that quite often. I love that. Miss Potter. Um, but this one is, I'll read this. Um, it's actually her biography and I did see the date 1968 is this edition so I'll give that a bit of a, a clean up it's been a library book but it'll be interesting to read that in comparison to the movie that I watch all the time I also got a lot of Beatrix Potter books this one is Benjamin Bunny I do have a lot and I'm trying to make them all you know collect the whole the whole group of them uh, they're all just a little bit different um, I think I showed this one this, this is very cute this one this is a tiny little they're like about two inches tiny little uh, book set um, I'll never cut those up I have so many book collections it's ridiculous so uh, this one here, this is a later edition. I think this was 2006. I do use a lot of these um, illustrations if I've got spare books. First published, it does say where when it was done. Uh, 2002, probably the latest date on there. But this one's a nice blue hardcover. But as I said, I do use these, these size pictures to make make um, cabinet style tags. Um, and they're just the perfect size. I hope that was in shot while I was, I was leaning on my desk there. Now these are all the same year, I think 1989. They're not as in great condition. Uh, yeah, these are all 1989. These are green covered one. So ginger and pickles. This is 89 as well. Tale of the pie and the patty pan. 
They've all got a little bit of um, a little bit of damage to them, but it's fine. I can fix that. Uh, Piglin Bland. These are all 1989. These green ones. This one is the tail of Mr. Todd. That one doesn't seem to be too bad, but it's got uh, got a lot of marks on it. So, if I've already got them, I can use these for illustrations. Now, this is the same as the other one. Where is it? That's that one. It's got a a dust cover. And it's also a later printing. This one I think is, um, where does it say? Oh, I can't see, I saw it before, can't see it now. 1987 for that one. So I have a few of those, put them there because they're in that green cover collection. Um, we have the patty pan one. It's another one with Miss Moppet. Another dust cover one. Another one, Jeremy Fisher. But it's got the dust cover. So that's that, that set. But I, I have got all the others up in my bookcase so I'm going to, once I've videoed them, I'm going to put them together and make sure I've got the right ones. Um, this one is just a like a paperback, but nice size pictures. Um, all these little rabbit ones, I usually use my. Oh, I can't find it now. I have a Stampin' Up po uh, punch that has little crinkles around it, so you make stamps, and that's what I do with the little rabbit ones on the corner. And when I make my rabbit little golden books, I, I put them in there. Just as little decorations. Um, let's see. This paperback is 1990. But I, that's the only one of those. So I will use that for pictures. Um, I have two hardcover ones. Like the, the little ones that I made from Emily um, at Silver Mist Crafts. We did little books little cardboard books that are only about that big um, and we took the pages apart and um, added pages in them and then put them back together so this one I think I could do the same just had a little ring in the corner sorry if my voice keeps fading and I'm trying to find the actual book so I can show you um, that's not it I must have put it away sorry Anyway, back to the, I'll be, I think I can put three rings down there so it'll make it a three ring binder. And I'll put pockets and things in between so I can make into an album because it's a really good size. It's got to be, um, yeah, six inches by six and a quarter. So yeah, so that'll make a nice, nice little album. So I'll do that one. I've got Jemima Puddle Duck and I've also got Peter Rabbit. So they'd be a nice little little baby album collection. I might um I might even do them uh, on a video for you if anyone's interested. There's those two and the last ones I've got. These are I know I've got a few of these as well. These first edition is 1996. Yeah, 1996 is this book. So I've got Flopsy Bunnies and Jemima Puddle Duck. And then this one is a, a different colour. Sort of much the same, but anyway, it's a different colour and it's a later edition. I think it's about 2000 and... 2002 this one is so that's my that's my little book collection I got 
yesterday from Castlemaine. It's about 20 minutes away from us in Victoria. Um, I'll just find somewhere to put these as I have a lot more things to go. Um, I managed to get some, not that I needed it, but you know if it's there you've got to grab it. Some bits of lace and so forth. Now this stuff is I don't know if you'll even be able to see it. Can you see that? Very fine. Um, it's fine. And maybe a bit of paper. There we go. Does that help? Um, it's called Little Loopies. Little um, Loopy Doll Hair. Um, I don't know what you're supposed to do with it. But I'll be able to use it for other things. Um, you know, make a few a few strands of it together. Oh, my hands are a bit dirty now from those books. I'll have to clean them. I always clean the things once I get them. Um, I got some, I thought this was really nice. It's got a bit of um, bit of an edging to it. These were all these cards were 50 cents, so couldn't leave them for that. A uh, bit of broderie anglais. That was couldn't leave that. This is another one that is a bit different. Must have missed that staple. I tried to unwrap them all before I came on. Yeah, so that one's very nice. Should have a piece of card underneath it for you. I'm trying to. Any better. No, glares. <laughs> Is that any better? Nope, it should be coloured. Anyway, it's still got a bit of staple on it. Very pretty little, little frilly lace. Got another one, looks like I've left the staple in that too. There goes that nail. Thought I was prepared this morning. Anyway, there's a nice, nice burgundy. We have a nice little orange one. Put staples down where I didn't see them. Nice, nice pale orange. We have pretty blue. And it's still got staples too. Gathered with a blue edging. I actually have been very naughty and been on online and ordered a few more trims and so forth. So I'm hoping they will be here within a couple of weeks. We have some lovely organza type ribbon. And I took these out of the bag so they wouldn't make a crinkle noise, and now they're still making a crinkle noise. Um, got some lovely big organza bags. Uh, I'm going to put some, probably put some Easter eggs or something in them for little gifts. Uh, there's quite a few of those too. But my prize purchase is this big roll of broderie anglais material. That's the size of it, and I got, it's a great big roll. Now I did pay $15 for it, which I thought was, you know, it was a big purchase price for me from a thrift store, but it's new, and there's so much of it, I thought that was a good price. So it's, um, it's going to last me quite a long time, I hope. But yeah, as I said, I thought it was quite quite a good price. I was very happy to pay the money. And uh, it would be very handy for the type of things I make. Now another thing I purchased, it was from a different op shop a couple of weeks ago, but I might as well do might as well show you now. Um, if you've seen on previous videos of the bare pin cushions I make, they um They've, they come with their stick pins in them. 
and I have I never seem to pick up the same size bears so they are like you can tell those two are so different sizes and I also have another one here this little lady with the hat on she's a different size again but I managed to pick up a whole bag that's all my books just go a whole bag of little bears so you can tell they're all different even if you buy them all together they're all all totally got their own little little personalities so I've got this one even came with a necklace which is what I put on my little girls um, there's little tiny ones there's that size put that one just put that one's legs down so yeah so I've got I've got quite a variety of them this one's even a bit bigger and I'm going to do uh, pin cushions like these ones but they will be as you can tell they're going to be quite small to fit ordinary pins in may not be as frilly but I can't help myself the more lace you add to them the prettier they look so I've got um, that one's a really tiny there's another little tiny one too just take that off so I'll make some tiny little pin cushions uh, if you want I can do them on video to show you how I make them or um, if not I'll just come back when I've made them up but they might if I get them made in time they'll be nice little Mother's Day presents um, or you know depends how long it takes me they could be nice little Christmas presents so I was quite happy with my little little collection I one two three four five six seven eight 10, there's 12 of them and I paid $5 for the bag full so I was very happy with that little collection so they've all got their heads to you I'll put their little faces up instead so that was my shopping day I don't get out very often so when I do I like to make the most of it so I hope you enjoyed seeing those um, I hope you all stay safe stay happy stay well have a lovely Easter and hopefully if we get can get down on these uh, medical appointments uh, we'll be back soon to do a few tutorials for you okay everybody thank you bye